I'm um, well. How are you? We're great, but are you okay? I, I'm hanging in there, literally hanging. Uh, did something happen to you, or you? I, I was playing basketball and I tore my Achilles. Uh, right before coming to AGT. Yeah, I had to. I, I didn't want to miss this opportunity to perform for you guys. So, oh, wow. yeah. What is your name? My name is Barry Brewer. Barry, where are you from? I'm from the south side of Chicago. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Well, the good thing is that you, whatever you're gonna do, looks like you're gonna do it sitting down, no? Yes, I was gonna do stand-up comedy, but I'm gonna do sit down today, so. Oh. How did you realize that you had that gift? I'm a musician, and I grew up playing in church on the weekends, and um, this guy said, man, you're funny. I was playing the drums for this community choir. He said, you should do some jokes for the concert. And I said, like, for real? And I did a church performance, and I got a standing ovation my first time, and I've been chasing that dream ever since. Oh, wow. Okay, Barry, good luck tonight. Thank you so much. Break a leg. Thank you, Hal. I appreciate it. I got thank you, you so much. I got you. There we go. All right. Woo, thank you so much. Um, I, yeah, I did travel here from um, Chicago. And when I traveled, I thought that, you know, I would get a little empathy because um, I was on crutches because I like to go on vacation um, and forget I'm black sometimes. Um, some people don't understand, it's a little stressful. Um, <laughs> but um, when I got on a plane, this young lady clenched onto a purse. You, you know how you have to stand in first class and wait to get to a coach? And she clenched onto her purse like I was gonna take it, and I was offended for two reasons. First reason is I can still take it. You're not that strong, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you ain't been in the gym like that. Your little strength ain't gonna stop my yank if I was a thief. And then second reason, where am I go? I have crutches. You think I'm gonna steal your purse and go sit in 32C? <laughs> I just think everybody should love everybody, right? Like, I just really believe in that. And being a musician, man, I got to play for different churches. I grew up and I learned how to play in church, so I got to play for black church and white church. White church is a little more simple. Their Jesus is simple. The chords are simple. The pastor, he gets up, he does his message. For God so loved the world. that he gave his only begotten son. Thank you, God, that whosoever believeth in him, you just have to believe, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And church is over. That is church in white church. It's real simple to the point. Black church, I grew up, is different. You go to church on Sunday, and then when they preach, it's like serious, like, put your hands together for Jesus. He's been too good. Hey, yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hey! And the white people were like, their Jesus is angry. Jesus is very angry. Their Jesus has been through a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very good. God bless. Oh, Simon loves clowns. Uh, Simon. <laughs> you love clowns? He loves clowns. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Good evening. How are you? Hola, muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Ah, habla español. Sí, claro. What is your name? Nombre? Me llamo Papayaso. Papayaso. Sí, Papayaso. Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? De Chile. Ah, from Chile. What are you going to do for us tonight, Papayaso? Hoy día voy a hacer invitaciones. Uh, impressions. Sí. Okay, let's see what you've got tonight. Okay. Primero, yo soy un elefante. ¿No? Okay, 
ok, ok, ok. Quizás un perrito. No. Ok, ok. Uh, ok, ok. Entonces, yo soy el Jason Statham. I got one last job for ya. And this time, it ain't gonna be easy. That's perfect. <laughs> Ok, ustedes dicen que esta persona famosa, entonces aquí hay otra. Este es el David Attenborough. The Chilean clown is known for surviving solely off laughter. <laughs> Therefore, this clown is in mortal danger. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> got a great show tonight, everybody. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Adam Driver in the house. <laughs> now, Adam Driver, I've been meaning to ask you, man, like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, Jimmy, is that I'm an incredibly gifted actor. And if you do not agree with that, then you do not know what I am capable of! Whoa! Ok, ok, ok. Tengo una más para ustedes. Esta es la última. Last one. Este es el Simon Cowell. I don't mean to be rude, but... I've seen funnier clowns in horror films. Amazing! I, I'm surprised. I thought you were gonna come and, you know, clown around. I'm gonna be honest. This was very big surprise. Good for you. We look for moments. We look for surprises. And you are a moment. And you are a surprise. The way you started out with the animal noises, we thought, oh, this is a joke act. And then you are one of the best impressionists I've ever heard. I thought your impressions were amazing. What I even loved most is how excited you were when it worked out in the end. You did your impression and then you were so happy with yourself when you were laughing, that made me laugh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> don't know what, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen or met a funny clown in the world. You might be the only one. Muchas gracias. Bueno, vamos a votar. We're gonna vote for okay. you. Okay. I'm gonna give you the first yes. Simon. Two yeses. Introducing the nimble and agile, Mandy Muden. Oh, oh. That's amazing. These are my original hips. Hello, everyone. It's lovely to be back. But actually, I'm here for a very special reason. Apparently, there's a very famous, handsome, gorgeous celebrity who wants to go on a date with me. They've only told me the initials, S, C. <laughs> Simon, any idea who that could be? Uh, gorgeous, handsome, it could be me. <laughs> I think it could. Oh, look, <laughs> Terry Crews is here to assist me. <laughs> the most expensive assistant in history. Hello, oh, look at you. <laughs> I've come over all unnecessary. <laughs> oh, Terry, look, you look beautiful. Now, reach in. I've got, I'm nervous about this date with a handsome, gorgeous celebrity. So I've written down every single item of clothing I own and I've popped it in a bag and I just want you to reach in and make sure that they're all different just in case. Okay. Okay, what do you got there, Terry? I got a few here. This one says red skirt. Red skirt, and lovely. This one says, 
blue blouse. Blue blouse. That sounds good, doesn't it? Blue blouse. What else you got, Terry? Thank and you. let's see. Just what read else? one more. Otherwise, I'll we'll read be here one for more. weeks. Dear. Okay. It is. You took more than you could handle. Yellow jacket. Yellow jacket. That right. is amazing, Terry. Would you take that down to the judges? Oh, okay. You look at you. You look absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Judges, could you take one piece each? Don't take a different colour and don't open them. Different colour from any other judge and don't open them. I'm going to get ready for my date. There we are. Simon, what colour have you got? I've got green, man. You've got green. Lovely. What colour have you got, Sophia? I've got yellow. Lovely. And what colour have you got, Heidi? I've red. Red. And what colour have you got, Howie? Blue for the Jew. Lovely. <laughs> Terry, could you take my handbag back to the dressing room? Do you like jello? Uh, I do, yeah. Yeah, you're in for a big surprise. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> now then. Simon, do you like a woman yes. who <laughs> can touch her own toes? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Simon, do you like a woman who swings yes. on a trapeze oh. yes. very, very low? Yes, Whoa. I do. Uh, <laughs> Simon, do you like a woman who's flexible? Uh, 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 very much. Simon, do yeah. you like a woman who will literally bend over backwards? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> this uh, position in the Karma Sutra is known as some people will do anything to get on the telly. Oh! <laughs> Simon, do you like a woman with a restraining order? <laughs> <laughs> Now, Howie. Yes. You chose a garment. You chose a piece of paper. What's written on it? What colour is it? And what is the garment? It's uh, blue, and it says blue trousers. Fabulous. Okay, Heidi. What colour? Red, and mine says red trousers. Oh, does it? It kind of. Okay. It does. Sophia, uh, what colour do you have? Yellow trousers. Oh, no. <laughs> Simon, what have you got? Shall I tell you, Mandy? Yes. Green trousers. <laughs> now, this is the wonderful thing about live entertainment, everybody. Sometimes it goes wrong. You've all chosen trousers. No magician on earth could make a lovely outfit out of trousers, except Magic Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like a voluptuous woman in a romper made out of four different pairs of trousers, half woman, half hot air balloon? Uh, <laughs> very much. Ah, <laughs> oh, Simon. Yes? I can't go on a date with you dressed like this. Brace yourselves! <laughs> Magic Man is ready! You've given us so much, you really have. You give us yeah. comedy, you give us magic, you give us quick change, you give us, you make us laugh, you entertain. I think you checked every box. I think you got a good shot of getting into the finals. America, vote. Only two can come through. I love what you did. Thank you. Heidi. Uh, I feel like the magic could use a little bit more wow. Uh, wow. A little bit more wow, like your personality is wow. You know, you remind me kind of of Patsy from Absolutely Fabulous, darling, sweetie. You know, so yes. I feel like I love that persona that you have or that personality that you have. I feel like we need a little bit more oomph on the magic. Yeah. Sophia? Well, I can tell you worked really hard on your act this time. And I thought that, you know what? You took a risk and you did amazing. It wasn't too much. It was super entertaining. You had a lot of, I don't know what it was. And it was fun. <laughs> like there was a lot of it. It was 
us a run. Oh, well, Simon, you were laughing the whole time, man. Well, I mean, look, Mandy, <laughs> you're very funny, really naughty. Um, look, I'm not <laughs> saying the magic's the best I've ever seen, um, but look, I, I, I have seen Mandy on, on the British show before, and what I will say about Mandy is that Mandy, I'm talking for you, has done all of these terrible little gigs to get to where she's got to, so the fact that you're here in Hollywood tonight, bravo. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Who are you and where are you from? My name is Maureen Langan. I live in Manhattan, but I grew up in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey, where there is no lake. So what is your talent? What will you be doing for us today? I am a stand-up comedian. What got you into comedy? Well, I say a gift from God, but really, um, it's, it's you, you grew up in a big Irish Catholic family with five siblings. You're always taking the crap out of each other, and it's just part of a natural wit. I think. You'll see. <laughs> okay, the stage is yours. Have fun. Thank you. And hopefully we have some fun with you. <laughs> I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. <laughs> I'm all about love. You feel that immediately with me. But I was on the airplane coming here, a woman in the seat behind me, she gets up and she starts spritzing cinnamon. I go, lady, what are you doing? She goes, well, it's natural. I go, so is my butt, but I'm not putting it in your face. <laughs> I didn't want to hate her, she made me hate her. Do you see what's happening there? Yes. I'm a victim. I had a car accident recently, I'm all right, don't worry. <laughs> Young guy, stoned out of his mind, on his cell phone, music blaring, looked a lot like you. Gets out of his car, you know, with the man bun? Dude, I don't know what happened, dude. I'm like, oh, what happened is in 1999, your mother forgot her birth control. Oh! That's what happened, dude. Well, I, wait a minute. I didn't want to say that. He made me say it. I was a victim. I was victimized. Okay, so but truth be told, I am at that age, post-period, pre-death. That's, that's my age range, here it is. I don't wanna be a cougar, absolutely not. I don't need some young hot guy named Chad <laughs> touching my belly fat going, ooh, what's this? What's this? This is rage. Rage, covered by affordable treats and wine from Trader Joe's, that's what this is. We got going here, baby. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know what I want? This is what I want. I want a guy around 86 years old, where I am the hottest thing between him and death. He can't believe he got me, because he knows he'll never get anyone better to the day he dies. <laughs> and he's not looking over his shoulder for somebody younger and hotter. You know why? He has arthritis in his neck. He can't move his neck. <laughs> And he sees none of my flaws. He sees no cellulite, belly fat, varicose veins. Why? Cataracts. <laughs> Cataracts. And you know what? Let me tell you something. I love him. And I look into his milky white eyes. <laughs> and I say, I love you! Because he's hard of hearing and I want him to know. Because I'm all about love. Thanks, you guys. I'm Maureen Lang. And thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm very well, I'm fine. I mean, how can I not be fine? I'm in the America's Got Talent. Oh my God! What is your name? My name is Josh Alfred. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Woo! How old are you? I'm 32 years old. And what is your talent, Josh? Okay, um, I do something very different, something you've never seen. Um, a speed reader. Oh. A speed reader? Yeah. That is something very different. Yeah. In a twinkle of an eye, I can read so many pages. Do you think you can win a million dollars? When I was living in Nigeria, I told them that I was not going to leave 
the United States if I don't win. What would you do with that million dollars? Uh, I will buy books. A million dollars worth of books? Yeah. Okay, Josh, good luck tonight. We're so happy that you made it all the way from Thank Nigeria. You. Thank you. Why is reading a talent? I don't know. So I'm going to be reading three books within a minute. I'll finish it up. Shall we begin? Yes. Now what? You want me to explain? You can ask me questions about the book. No, you want to ask him any question. What's the ending of Romeo and Juliet? I, I, I guess they died or something. I don't know. <laughs> Simon, what did you think? Pointless. But I read those books. I, I, I mean, I have witnesses. I want to know how is this an act? Like, okay, you read this, and now what? And it's been read. <laughs> I think we need to stop this thing. I'm going to give you a no, first no. Howie, yes, no, what? Read my lips. No. Oh, Heidi. It's a no. Simon. Um. No. I, I, I think I think you're you're making a mistake. We are okay making a mistake. Thank you very much. I won't take a no though. Ah. I won't take it. What the heck is it? That was the most ridiculous was thing that? I ever saw. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you, thank you. Isn't it fun out here? It's fun, man. How is it when you're like in the wing, about to come out? Are you nervous then, or? But Terry's back there. What is he doing over there? <laughs> no, just, you know, giving motivational talks and everything. I think he has a TED talk coming up or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so tell us, who are you, how old are you, and where are you from, please? My name is Orlando Leyva. I am 45 from Miami, Florida and I'm a stand-up comic. How did oh. you get into that? Uh, it's my wife. It was my birthday and she gave me a gift to the school that teaches you improv acting. Mm -hmm. And then the improv teacher says, ah, you're not good at improv. Uh, <laughs> you should try stand-up. And now you're here on the biggest stage in the world. What a journey, man. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I like this vibe. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to be here. My name is Orlando. I'm married, uh, 15 years. You could hear it in my voice. Uh, there's a little essence of defeat every time I open my mouth. Uh, you hear it like every good husband. Uh, Listen, woman, you want to get gelato after this? Is that possible? She's a good woman. She got me into that show Yellowstone. I love that show. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a great show, but I feel like less of a man every time that I watch. Should I buy a truck? I feel like I should buy a truck. <laughs> For those that don't know, Yellowstone is a TV show about a cattle ranch ran by the bodyguard himself, Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah, a man. A man, right? Mm -hmm. The writing is great, the acting is excellent, but the visuals of Yellowstone are amazing. Yellowstone, the park looks amazing. So imagine my excitement when my buddy Eric invited me to his wedding. Where? In Yellowstone. Are you coming? Oh, I'm there. I've been watching the show. <laughs> the second I landed, guys, I got it. This place was so beautiful, so majestic. I understood Kevin Costner. Shoot, I became Kevin Costner. <laughs> By the third day, I was telling people to get off my land. Get off my land! <laughs> sure, it was in the hotel courtyard, but that's the way that I felt. I couldn't stop saying, go on, get. You go on, get! You go on, get from that cucumber water, sir. You've had enough of our minerals. <laughs> Thank you. I drove out into the park. I'm a city guy, man, and I was out there in nature, unsupervised. I saw elks, the real ones, with the, with the coat racks. I saw elks. I saw bears doing bear stuff. They waved at me. One got a little bit too close. I said, you go on get, Yogi. I told him. 
<laughs> Here's the big one. <laughs> I saw bisons. Those are real. <laughs> I thought bisons were made up like unicorns, but there he was, a bison in the middle of the road looking like a bougie cow, moo. <laughs> I see you, bougie cow. <laughs> I see you. I kept driving because they told me to go see Old Faithful. Old Faithful, for those that know, don't know, is a thermal geyser that shoots water and steam out into the sky from the middle of the earth. Allegedly, I hadn't seen it yet. <laughs> when I got there, they call it Old Faithful because Old Faithful always goes off right on time. Plus or minus 10 minutes. I read the sign. <laughs> and Old Faithful did not let us down. It went off right on time. Plus 10 minutes. <laughs> It reminded me of me in my 20s. I was like, I remember when I could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't do that anymore, I can't. I'm more like old dependable. <laughs> or old maybe later, plus or minus 10 days. It all depends on my tummy feels. My name's Orlando Leva. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Oh, Good evening. Good evening. We know him. What is your name? My name is Jay Osh. I'm, I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. From Nigeria. He snuck back in. All right. What do you do? I'm the fastest rapper in the world. All right. Well, good luck. I hope this works out. Yeah. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it, hess this man, F it, it's me, do with him, and when they just move, feel like we should win, this with them, and let me pick it, and with them, but some of them, when there's some of them, with them, but some of them, fellow, what's that, I said, all I know, ever since my face, just pick it, they're hot, and I want to have a look. Was that the whole, was that the whole thing? I was, I was getting to the best part. I was, I was about to kill it. Why didn't you keep going? Keep it going, go, JS, go. Hand me, hand me, send me a fan. Get to the rhythm and the rhythm, with the 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 with the. We finished. I was getting, I was about to hit get to the best parts. Simon, what do you think? Well, I, I didn't really understand any of it. If I'm being honest with you, I, it was because it was fast. <laughs> <laughs> you were not saying but, anything. But I believe that people that understand fast rap, they will slow it down in their minds and they will get it. Maybe you need to work on your singing and come back to AGT another time. But it's gonna have to be a no for me. It's a no, I'm sorry. That was, no. I'm afraid it's a no, sorry. I, I think that's, that's a mistake, so you guys are making a mistake. Actually, no, I've changed my mind this year. No, I'm kidding, it's a, no. How did he Why did he come back? Yeah. What do you do, you just get back in line and you try I again? don't know what happened. People often think my disability defines my existence. They say something like, oh, you have cerebral palsy. I know another guy with cerebral palsy. You should be best friends. <laughs> but they don't like it when I go up and say, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> know someone else who's an idiot. You should be best friends. And you don't get that with any other medical conditions either. I've never heard someone say, oh, you have herpes. <laughs> My brother has herpes. You should be best friends. <laughs> I have cerebral palsy. CP does not affect intelligence or hearing. In fact, the most interesting symptom of cerebral palsy is how it makes other people freaking stupid. <laughs> For example, people come up to me and start gesturing at me yelling real slow like, hello, can I pet your doggy? And I'm like, oh my, are you okay? Are you having a stroke? Do you need me to call 911? Oh, you're just an idiot. I guess we don't need an ambulance for that. People always ask why I need a service dog. I don't. You got me, I'm faking it.
He has two primary services. First, he gets my beer for me. Good boy. Now number two, fetch me a girlfriend. <laughs> You're ruining my set, you jerk. <laughs> Go fetch Sophia Viagra. I'm here. I'm single. Oh no. Damn autocorrect. I meant Sophia. Vergara. We're almost done. But remember, if you don't vote for me, he won't eat tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, he'll eat tonight. He's the one that makes us dinner. <laughs> okay, make funny jokes, check. Hit on Sophia, check. Brought dog out for bonus votes, check. Perfect. That's my time. Love you all. become a comedian and it's beautiful to see you up there being so happy and making all of us laugh. Thank you so much for being here. Sophia. Well, I think this, I love the way you look at life. I love that that's what makes you so funny that you make fun of yourself, that you are like so like happy with yourself. And um, has anyone ever called you Sophia? No, they have called me like that before, Viagra? but I'm single. <laughs> Simon! Well, um, you are naturally funny. I mean, just that. I mean, if you're a comedian, that's what it's all about. And um, interestingly, unlike other acts tonight, I actually wanted it to go on longer. Um, and you know one of my favorite bits was when the dog, even the dog's face, when he was looking at you, <laughs> even the dog's funny. <laughs> he was just giving you this look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was good. Bravo! Howie, you are on your feet, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm on my feet because I love this guy. I agree with Sophia. If anybody deserves to go on and voted for one of the two, it is you. Your timing is great. Your personality is great. And I've been a fan of yours since you were first here. I love when you work dirty. We can't see it here, but you're brilliant. No way. He's back. He's back. What is, what is, what is your name? <laughs> my name is Terrifying J. Wait a minute. And uh, what do you, what do you do? I do magic. All right, you know what? Just show us your magic, young man. Okay, so first of all, we have to agree that all the cards here are different. Yes. So yeah, they're different. We have 10 of hearts, we have clubs, we have spades, we have diamonds. Let him do his act. Howie. What? I want to connect some part of your life to this card. Okay. What's your birth month? November. That should be 11, right? How would you feel if I pick your exact birth month? How do you pick an 11? Well, that would be amazing. Good. <laughs> that would be really amazing. Ay, Dios mio. All right, just say stop where you want me to stop, please. I, I, I wanted you to stop before I pressed the X. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I didn't say stop. What is that? That's 10. Yes. 10 plus 1. Is 11. That's it. Okay, okay, I, I want to call. Terry, please come. Come, Terry. I'm going to control Terry's mind. Terry, 
Did we talk backstage? Did we rehearse this? No, we didn't. All right, I'm going to control you now. OK. Terry, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Raise this hand up. Can you please wave? Can you please smile? Can you please frown? I control his mind. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sophia, what did you think? You're funny, but it's like really not for AGT. So again, no. You're very likable, but you just didn't get it. Seriously, I've now got it. I think you are hilarious. I really, really like you. You're really funny. So I'll make this really quick. You got four yeses. Well no, done. No, no. Yes, well done. Yes! No, but look over there. It's a definite no. Doesn't matter. Take them away. It's no, a no. no. Honestly, you're funny now, but it, it's a no. I am sorry. I, I can rap. I can, I, can, I, can, I can do the rap. No, you don't need to rap. You don't need to rap. Has the best of effect is my effect of the star. And then Mr. West is right, it's the best of the fall. And this is the best of the street, the best of the weather rap. And this is the best of the street, the best of the street, the best of the street. It's over. 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 Send the way, the way, send the way, the way, send the say, send the way, the way. I got the way, the fake, the spread, the way, the way. I know when I get a mother, when I want to 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 get